。再来看到欧洲方面，中国器官移植背后的人权问题引起了广泛的关注。曾经深入调查过此事的加拿大律师大卫·麦塔斯向欧盟建议，通过设立境外有效的法令，禁止器官买卖。大卫·麦塔斯的建议现在得到了欧洲议员的响应。欧盟获得了今年的诺贝尔和平奖，应邀参加欧洲议会人权听证会的麦塔斯先生就此提出了他的希望。I was pleased to see the European Union won the Nobel Peace Prize in 2012. That award, I suggest, can and should continue to be justified by a focus on organ transplant abuse in China, the victimization of prisoners of conscience, and, in particular, Falun Gong. Mai Ta Si 先生给欧盟的第一条建议就是要求欧盟设立在境外也能有效施行的法令，就是让在境外贩卖器官的欧洲人在欧洲也会得到起诉。欧洲议会议员也提出了类似的想法。I believe that we have to think about new legislation, which would be extraterritorial, which would be international, and which would simply、um, require require the individual responsibility of all people involved in these operations, in these absolutely criminal, illegal activities. So this would send a very strong message to China. So、uh, we have to simply criminalize these actions. 但目前欧盟还没有提出实质性的敦促中共改变这一现状的方案。But unfortunately, it's the much more systematic、uh, approach. For example, the training of organ transplant doctors here in Europe、uh, should not take place when if they're Chinese.、Um, and there are many other issues that could be dealt with. And we're looking at all these, and I hope in the coming year we'll have actually some action. 欧洲议会在二零一零年五月通过一项有关欧盟器官捐献和移植的行动方案的决议，要求欧盟委员会就活体摘取法轮功学员器官及其他相关案例进行调查。然而，行动方案的执行范围仅限于欧盟之内，因此，针对器官贩卖的国际性立法就显得尤为重要。The EU has got the capacity as the very large trading partner of China. To use its weight, political and economic,、uh, on the regime. 新唐人记者李月尼克，比利时布鲁塞尔报道。